Hello out there, Elizabeth here with Team Epic Reads, and today's DIY project is bidding a royal farewell to the selection series by Kira Cass. I'm wearing a black dress today because I'm a little bit in mourning that the series is gonna end soon, but I am so excited about the crown and to find out what happens to Princess Edlin. So today's DIY project is inspired by the crown. When the air came out, we made these adorable hair fascinators inspired by Princess Edlin's tiara collection. So of course for the crown, we have to make her something else. Now, we don't know if Princess Edlin is going to choose one of her suitors or if she's gonna to decide to go a whole different way. I personally can't wait to find out. No matter what happens, I think she'll make the right decision. Just in case she does decide to go one way over the other and she ends up with a very fancy piece of jewelry for her finger, we are going to be making a clay rig dish. You're going to need some assorted colors of oven-baked clay. I went with colors that match the cover. You're also gonna need a plate for a working surface. You're gonna need an oven-safe bowl. I went with this really small one because I want it to be um, perfect size for a ring or other important jewelry. An X-Acto knife, and please be very careful with that. You're gonna need a glass smooth jar or a rolling pin. I'm using this former DIY project that we made and it has multiple uses. You're also gonna need another glass jar that is wider than your glass bowl. Again, putting these DIY projects to good use. And then optional is some clay glaze and a paintbrush and a gold leafing pen if you want some extra decoration. Your first step is to roll your clay into five inch long pieces and you can do that right in your hands. It's pretty easy to work with. So you just keep rolling until you have about five inches. Once you have your clay rolled out into pieces that are about five inches long, you're gonna put all of them together and then you're going to simply twist those into one bunch so that you now have one piece of clay. And then you're going to roll that out so that it's about 10 inches long, similar to how you did it the first time. But now all of the pieces are gonna be blending together. So once your piece of clay is blended together and you have it about 10 inches long, you're actually going to fold it in half and do that again with the twisting. Then you're gonna roll it back out to 10 inches and repeat two to three times till you get a really cool swirly marbly pattern. It should kind of look like you're making a candy cane. Once you've twisted your clay and rolled it out several times, you're actually gonna go ahead and make this into a ball. A beautiful swirly colored ball. And then you're gonna flatten it out using your rolling pin or glass jar. You want it to be about a quarter inch thick. So now you're gonna take your wider glass jar and you're gonna flip it over on top of your clay and push down. This is gonna give you a perfect circular shape. And this is where your X-Acto knife comes in. You are very, very carefully, with adult supervision if you need it, going to trace along the outside to cut out your clay. Then you can go ahead and pull away the excess. and you're gonna remove your glass and gently peel off the clay. You're gonna start pushing your clay down into the bowl so that it starts to form a bowl shape of its own. And it's okay if the ends aren't exactly perfect because I think the edges, if they're a little kind of uneven, make it even more special and unique. So then you just push that down inside you're going to place this into the oven according to the directions on your package of clay. For me, it was 275 degrees for 15 minutes. I took my clay home and I baked it in the oven and once it was totally cooled, I did another little extra step, which is totally optional. I took a gold leafing pen and I went around the edges to make this a little sparkly and shiny because this is for a princess after all. And then I took some clay glaze and I painted it with a paintbrush into the center and let it dry so to get an extra cute, shiny effect. Now all you need to do is put your ring inside. Now you have a beautiful ring dish to store all of your princess jewelry in. Let us know in the comments who you think Princess Lee Lynn is gonna choose. Can't wait for the crown.